What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Cashed Out. Uh, sorry, it's been a little while. I think YouTube has been yelling at me. So it's been over a month since I posted a video, but had a lot of stuff going on, had a lot of good things going on with some clients, had some weddings to shoot. Uh, just been kind of a busy season, but things are starting to settle down a little bit. So I decided to take this opportunity to be able to create a new video for you guys, really just to talk about the camera that I've been using over the past few months. In one of my last videos, I talked about just getting the Canon R3. I had just re recently purchased it. So if now had a chance to put it through its paces to be able to use it for both photo and video and really kind of get a real good feel for it and I have to tell you it's been a fantastic camera I mean it's phenomenally helped my workflows phenomenally helped my business so today I just wanted to talk to you guys about the video aspect of it because I typically shoot hybrids so I'll shoot photos and videos for clients so in this video I wanted to talk to you guys more specifically about the videography side of things and then I'll do another video to talk about the photography side of things and I promise it won't take a month for it to come out I promise it'll be quick but uh but anyway let's dive into the videography side of things so the first thing when it comes to video and one of the biggest reasons why i bought the canon r3 is because it doesn't overheat that is a huge thing for me because working professionally when you're shooting a wedding or when you're shooting an event, you don't want to have your camera overheat in the middle of that, especially when you're in all sorts of different environments. And the Canon R3 has given me no issues with overheating at all. Um, I typically shoot 4K 60 and I shoot uh, 4K 24 in certain scenarios. And sometimes I even use the 6K footage just to really capture a scene. And I haven't had any overheating issues at all. It hasn't even been a thought of it. So I know they've really improved the Canon R5 and R6 in terms of the overheating overheating with their recent firmwares, but this is something that I have zero regrets about getting the R3 because I got it before the, that firmware came out. So it's been really useful. So the overheating, not a thought, not a concern. So that has made the video experience so much better. I don't have to have any workarounds like with my R6. I used to have to basically record into the Atomus Ninja to skip that overheating issue, but with the R3, uh, definitely not a problem there. So that's a huge perk in terms of having the R3 for video. The other thing that I've really liked about the R3 is that the battery life is fantastic. When you shoot video, video is very battery, it's very power consuming. So whenever you shoot videos, your battery's gonna drain a lot faster. But with the R3, I haven't really experienced much issues with batteries. I've got two batteries, actually I've got three. I got two Canon ones and one that's kind of like a, a, an off, I'll say off brand, but it's a different brand from Canon. But I really, whenever I've gone on shoots, I typically the shoots will last from four to eight hours. And I've honestly only had to use one battery. I recently shot an event that was basically kind of like an all day thing and I pretty much by the end of the event I still had a little bit of juice on my main battery from a full charge and that typically would never have happened with the R6 for me uh, just because of how I shoot and obviously shooting photo and video kind of drains it quicker but with this guy it's been fantastic so battery life man it's so good to not really have to think about it to just know that that one battery that you've got to start with is probably going to last you throughout the whole shoot so it's just one less thing on your plate so the battery life is fantastic and the batteries are huge they're really thick and I I love them. I absolutely love it. Now you can't really talk about a camera unless you talk about the image quality, right? That's kind of like the point of the camera. And the image quality on this R3 is absolutely fantastic. I mean, even the standard profiles look super good, super clean, uh, really sharp. I, I just love the look coming out of here. It kind of has like a warm temperature to it. Most of the images have a, a, a natural warm temperature to them. The image for me looks really sharp, really nice. Uh, the C-Log3 on here is fantastic. You get, get that 10-bit color. Um, everything looks awesome and you easy to grade when I was using it in DaVinci Resolve uh, the color grading was smooth it really didn't have any hiccups and one thing to keep in mind if you don't have a computer that can handle like 5k 6k or just really high quality 4k footage you want to make sure you get one uh, if you're thinking about upgrading to the R3 this is another one of those uh, potential hidden costs of getting this camera uh, besides the price tag the price tag is also <laughs> very steep so keep that in mind but besides that the, the computer that you use to edit this footage is going to be crucial because because your computer has to have enough power to be able to handle um, this kind of uh, detail and data. Uh, because for me, when I used to have the old MacBook Pro, I think mine was like a 2019, I believe, um, it wasn't capable of handling this kind of stuff. It would lag, it would stutter. Uh, once you start getting into that higher higher resolution 4K, 5K footage, uh, you really have some issues with editing that. But with, a Mac, with an M1 Mac or something like that, something that's powerful enough to be able to process it, you shouldn't have any issues. But other than that, image quality, 
body is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, really good, really easy to work with. This even got the, the Canon RAW um, in 6K. So if you want to shoot 6K RAW, I've used this on some weddings to be able to capture some images that I really just wanted to make sure we could get them to pop. And it's really good, really high detail, high resolution. So if you need to get any stills out of that image as well, you can be able to capture that as well. So the 6K, really good. But like I said, processing power is going to be the big thing on how much you use that and also storage, right? So that's a huge file when it comes to 6K. But the look of it, the image quality, absolutely top notch. You're going to love the look coming out of this camera. And the last thing that I wanted to hit on in terms of video is the IBIS. The IBIS on the R3 is really good. It's very strong. Um, it works really well with the lenses. I typically shoot on a 28 to 70 RF, the F.2. The thing's a freaking monster. I'll have to do a video on this thing. Uh, it's it's like three pounds, but it kind of, it does everything. It's just such a really good lens. But I shoot on that for the most times. And whenever I'm shooting with the IBIS on the R3, uh, it, it works super nice. You know, when, if I'm, when I'm stiff, when I'm able to kind of keep good form and I'm doing some handheld footage, I've done some footage during dances at, at a wedding and it's turned out really, really good. So IBIS is awesome. Um, you still get at that wider angles, you still get some of that uh, Canon wobble on the wide angles. So that's kind of a, a bummer, especially if you're shooting like 24 or 28, um, you're still going to get a little bit of that side wobble. So just keep that in mind. I mean, hopefully they can fix this. I mean, I have, I, I'm having ho high hopes for the, the recent firmware upgrade that this is handled or at least minimized, um, but I haven't put it on the R3 just yet. So I need to get that done, but hopefully that wobble is, is reduced a little bit more because when you're starting to do stuff like real estate or you're doing landscapes or just kind of, you want to get like a wider scene, having that wobble, if you're going handheld is kind of a problem. So just something to keep in mind. But other than that, all of it looks really good. The stability is really good. The image comes out really nicely. So overall, my experience for video with this camera has been incredible. I absolutely love this camera for video. Um, it's my go-to, it's been my workhorse, and the images, the footage coming out of here is just great. It's great, that's all I can say. This thing, it does a phenomenal job. And I am actually surprised that more people aren't talking about it for video. I almost feel like it's like a hidden gem in terms of video. Obviously, the price tag is one of the biggest reasons why a lot of people aren't using it but for those that do need it if your business necessitates it and you use that and you're it's actually something that's going to pay for itself then for video it's it's awesome it's like an awesome hybrid camera so we'll talk a little bit more in terms of photography because that's the other side of the coin and uh that, that'll be a whole separate video but just wanted to get this video out to you guys let you know about my experience with the r3 my new favorite camera my new workhorse camera so i really love this camera and hope you guys enjoyed this video hope this helped you out if it did be sure to hit the like button below subscribe if you haven't yet, and I tune in next time right here on Cashed Out.